Smart Crawl Pro by WPMU Dev is my preferred SEO plugin for WordPress. And I'm going to show you why. Um, I've made a previous video um, to this one outlining the general SEO settings here that you find. Uh, but this video, we're going to talk about why I like this plugin for its social settings. Now, if you've ever on Facebook tried to share a link or maybe on Instagram or anywhere else really that operates on a feed based system, if you drop a link into uh, a new post, it'll fetch a preview of what that post is going to look like. And if things are set up uh, correctly, you should get some options uh, for any images that you want to have um, as a potential uh, image that you'd like to show for that post. There may even be some descriptive text that you would like to be pulled in as well whenever you're sharing your link, uh, just so that you don't have a totally blank um, link with just some grayed out boxes whenever you uh, go to share that content. Um, if I X out of that, I'm just going to refresh this page so that I get um, a fresh go at this. I'm going to now uh, plug in a URL for a demo page on my site where I've not filled in any content whatsoever. And so let me just do that while that page is loading up. Um, I know I've got a page called process that I've not yet filled in. So this page, I've not uh, given my SEO plugin uh, anything to work with. I've not out, uh, outlined any images or any descriptive text that I want pulled in. And so if I click into a new post and drop that link, it says fetching preview, Facebook is looking to see, is there anything been set for this uh, particular link? And there's no images. You see some filler uh, images down here. Uh, you see the title of the page, but you don't see anything else. There's no um, featured image that has been set to go along with the page and that kind of thing. Um, now, of course, I could you know type some text in here and I could attach an image manually, but um, it's a lot, it's a lot uh, more user friendly if you can have that stuff already set up and pulling in for you. And the way that is done is through what is called Open Graph. Uh, if I go back to the back end of my page um, here in Smart Crawl, so we're looking at my home page, um, and you see Open Graph has been enabled for uh, this post. And even this little description says, uh, this is used on many social networks such as Facebook. It's used for uh, Twitter. It's used for different feeds, like uh, feed platforms, like uh, something like Reddit or um, things like that. Uh, and it's basically just a format that's supposed to be more or less universal for uh, sharing purposes. Whenever you share a link, for instance, in iMessage, if you're texting someone, if you, if you share a link, the fact that it can display an image or some descriptive text that goes along with it rather than just showing the naked link, um, that's an example of open graph um, being used to display some extra information along with that link. Just makes it a little more attractive to, to click and tells the user a little bit more about what they'd be getting into if they click on that link. So you see it's also been um, enabled down here for Twitter and uh, it's used for some other things as well. But you can just about assume that if you've set things up on the back end of your plugin here, anything that uses Open Graph will pull that information in whenever you select it. Um, now, if we scroll down here, first thing I want to show you is actually images, so featured images. So I've dropped a few images as options. If I were to share my home page on social media, um, then I'm given four images here that I have manually selected. If I wanted a different image uh, to show up here, I could just say select featured image. I would get some options from uh, my media library in WordPress, and I could just set another image to be picked up there. And anywhere where it is appropriate, I hear my dog's claws over here. Uh, anywhere that's appropriate, uh, if Facebook says, you know, hey, this would be a good spot to actually display the title here or display uh, this text content, then that information is going to be plugged in there. Um, now let's do this. Let's look at um, the sharing debugger. So Facebook um, has this tool called the uh, sharing debugger. That's one of their tools for uh, developers, but you can get to it just as easy. Just Google it. Um, and you're able to see whenever your website or whenever that link that you put in here. So I've just entered in my regular, um, my homepage link. Uh, whenever you've clicked that, 
it's going to pull you into it's going to show you what all information has been pulled up for that link so you see some of that descriptive text that i included that's really just part of my meta description for my site you also see the title of the page itself um, you get any history of likes shares comments on that page and you also get some open graph information so based on some of the tags that have been added to this page through that smart crawl seo plugin um, we've got some of these open graph properties uh, as indicated by the little letters O and G here. So uh, the open graph URL, the type of media that's being shared here, if it were uh, an audio file or if it was a video from YouTube or something, it would indicate the type of uh, content found at this link. You get the title page, you get uh, some of the images that are options here. So this is just a link to uh, the main image being showed up here and uh, any other information that might have been included as uh, part of your open graph data. Uh, there's other information you can click here to see everything else. Um, but if you have a link that's not showing up the information you think it should be showing up, let's say you added in an image um, in the back end. Let's say I added a new image here, but it wasn't showing yet. I could go to that debugging tool and I could tell Facebook to scrape that URL again. So in other words, it's just gonna refresh and look again to see um, is this the most current information? And if I had added a new uh, image there, um, it might not do it on the first try. I might have to uh, scrape a few times just so that it, we're, we're giving enough time for Facebook to pick up on that newly added image. But eventually you should see your desired image pop up here as the new one on that post. So just another reason that I really do like the Smart Crawl SEO plugin. Um, it lets you set up your social settings for whenever um, you're sharing links out in the wild. Uh, they'll just look a little bit prettier um, and uh, users are a little more likely to want to click on them if they see a featured image and maybe a little descriptive text along with that link whenever you go to share it. So um, really like Smart Crawl SEO. Um, there are other plugins that have these same features. This is not exclusive to Smart Crawl, uh, whether you're using plugins like Yoast SEO, Rank Math, um, All-in-One SEO, all these plugins offer um, settings to uh, deal with your social, deal with your general SEO settings. A lot give you um, tips on the readability of your content. You know, is it hard to read? Is it easy to read? Um, and then there's more advanced settings here too. And I'll just mention this quickly since I'm on it. If you have a if you have a certain page that you don't want Google to index, maybe it's a maybe it's a private page where you've got some pricing information and, and you don't share that with everyone and you want that page to kind of be a secret, um, you could click this off to where uh, it is set to not index that page. And ideally, uh, if when things are working correctly, that'll mean that Google won't have that page uh, searchable. That won't be discoverable uh, by somebody just making a general search in Facebook if they were looking for your pricing. Um, the individual, if they wanted your pricing page, would have to come to you uh, directly and you'd have to share that with them if you wanted them to. Um, other direct settings here. Oh, my puppy's whining down here. Um, a couple of other settings down here if you uh, wanted to fool with those. But just wanted to show some of those main points, mainly on the social aspects of Smart Crawl. Um, check out WP MU Dev. They've got a lot of other great products as well. Uh, but Smart Crawl is definitely my favorite plugin for managing those things. Do you hear these sad puppy sounds? Okay, I'm going to go play with my dog. That's all for now.